Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with another installment of Rabbi Ian 3, brought to you, as always, by Moor DC. And you got it right. I'm in the sukkah. It's the last day of sukkah, Hoshana Rabbah, 5774. We've had a wonderful Yom Tov holiday, eating and drinking, sometimes sleeping out here, chatting with our friends, l'chaims, the whole bit, the whole shebang. It's been an amazing Yom Tov, and now we he- are heading in to the end of the holiday season of Tishrei. Tonight is Shmini Atzeres. It's really not part of Sukkot. It's the end of Sukkot, or it's the eighth day. Shmini means eighth. Eighth day after Sukkot. And Atzeres means an assembly. And there's a beautiful uh, oral tradition that or, or to, it means assembly or to, be, to hold back. Hashem is holding us, His beloved Jewish people, back for one more day at the end of the incredible festive season of Sukkot. One more day, a private tete-a-tete, if you will with God. That's the, Shminyat, that's the beauty of Shemini Atzeres. It's a day of intimacy. There's no more uh, Lulav and Esrog. What do we do on Shemini Atzeres? We eat a beautiful meal, and that's the day on which we celebrate Simchas Torah. In the diaspora outside the land of Israel, it's the second day of Shemini Atzeres. In Israel, it's all one day, Shemini Atzeres, Simchas Torah. But in any case, that's the day we complete the yearly reading of the Torah and begin again. End and begin again. We end Deuteronomy, Devarim, Zosabracha, the last Torah portion. We begin Bereshis Bara Elohim, Esher Shemayim, Aretz. In the beginning, Hashem created the heavens and the earth. That's such a Jewish paradigm. Rejoicing with the learning we've done. It's the greatest joy of all what Torah brings us. Torah means instructions, instructions for life. And the rabbis call it Torah or uh, an illumination for our lives to guide us and warm us and help us grow keep us warm. That's what Torah is. We rejoice with that. And then we begin. We don't just stop. We end and then we begin again. Always renewal. Always continuation. That's the beauty of the Jewish path and really the Jewish vision of the world. Endless renewal. Constant renewal. Ah, Simchas Torah, it's beautiful. It's the end of the holiday season. Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Circus, the very climax and culmination of our Simcha, Yishmini Atzeres, and the rejoicing with the Torah. And what do we read? Bereshis bara Eloki Master Shemayim Vesa Aretz. Hashem created this beautiful world. You can see outside the window of the sukkah. We're not here by accident. It wasn't just out of nowhere and out of nothing, an incredibly complex and interconnected universe and human life arose. Bereshis bara Eloki Master Shemayim Vesa Aretz. Hashem created us in His image. We're Adam. That's the name for man. We're created to the word Adam. Aleph and Dam. Dam means blood. That represents our physicality. Aleph is the first letter of the Jewish alphabet of the Aleph base. It represents God, if you will, the spiritual side of us. We're Aleph plus Dam. Our goal in life, many great sages say, is to live up to that name, to have the Aleph rule over the Dam in a just way, justly dealing with all of our desires as the Torah doesn't want to deprive us of any good hum- any, any desire properly expressed. God created it. It's good. Tov Ma'od. It's a good world. It's a wonderful holiday. Have a great Shabbos, and we'll be back next week, God willing, as we continue Rabbi Ian 3. Good Yom Tov.